out the door we go, out we go. Okay, question of the day for me is how close am I to running? I'm off to physical therapy right now to do the jump test or jumping. I don't know what he's gonna have me do, but basically I'm uh, now, I believe, moving into the stage of some jumping exercises at the physical therapy office. I could not be more excited. back squat here. This uh -huh. is like your priming position. Yeah. You don't have to go crazy deep with these. Okay. Squat up and then control, right? You yeah. want to you want to be controlling that force so you're not hearing a clap on your feet. It's all controlled yeah. absorption. Yeah. Because if we can get this motion pretty controlled, yeah. we can continue to get your running motion controlled. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, it, but it all starts at the hips. Right so here. I can feel my hips nice and tight. <laughs> <laughs> right? As I, We're jumping, we are jumping, ladies and gentlemen. Pain free, zero. back from the gym time to organize a little bit in the studio as we continue to get it ready for the next phase of this channel uh, the gym was good I didn't film everything again just uh, working on the strength foam rolling stretching all that good stuff so all right let's get organized here we go Keep, gotta keep the studio clean. Come on now, come on now. This is our, this is our, this is our YouTube home. We gotta keep it, keep it tidy. So as you can probably tell, obviously I haven't taken the shelf out yet. Maybe I will get to it later tonight. Uh, so I just gotta get this stuff uh, out of the way for now. Okay, change of plans, time out. I'll be back in about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, True Love has a flat tire, so. She's off to the tire store. I'm gonna go pick up the kids from school. This is life, onward and upward. We will be back in about an hour. And I'm back with a new hat. All right, let me, let me adjust the camera here. Everyone's good. All right, there we go, that's better. Hold on, right there. Okay, kids are good, true love's good. Got the tire fixed. Quick update is that I'm about to film the Q&A. First gotta get the Christmas tree out of the house. Uh, but gonna film the Q&A and an update on the weekly Q&As which publish every Saturday at 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Q&As, but I'm listening to your comments from the Running Shoe Q&A earlier this week, where I, the question of the day was, did you like the format uh, with the Q&As where the, there's a focused uh, topic for that particular Q&A session? So last uh, Tuesday, I think it was, it was all about running shoes. 
So the next one, for example, would be about uh, marathon training or about uh, ultra running or whatever the case, whatever the topic might be. So that is the game plan moving forward. Uh, moving forward, there was a resounding support for that strategy with a really, really honed in focus for the Q and A. Okay, here we go. Got the Christmas tree taken care of. You know, I love a good Christmas tree, but when the tree's outside, it's kind of nice as well. No more needles to sweep up. You know what it's like. Okay, gonna open up some of these boxes. I don't know if we'll get to all of them, but some of these boxes here in a minute, and I'm gonna get you the update on the knee. By the way, cheers to turmeric tea and to the YouTube family. All right, here we go. How close, answering the question in the title of the vlog, how close am I to getting back to running? Very close, very, very close. I don't know about you, but I've been through injuries before, lots of different injuries, and you know when you're healthy, it's like, huh, there was a distinct shift there. Well, that shift happened about uh, Tuesday of this week. So what is today, Friday? So about three days ago, I, I'm just trying, I and this is where, okay, tip of the day, and I am not doing this, Got I should, I should have been doing this, a little uh, pain scale journal. Just a little note every day, what is the pain scale of your injury, whatever injury you might have. I have not been doing this. I guess I've been leaning into the vlog for that, telling you all about my pain scale. But I, from what I can remember, Tuesday was the last day, maybe even Monday, but Tuesday, I think, where there was the last day of any pain at all, like a one on the pain scale. So Wednesday, Thursday, and jumping today at the physical therapist, zero on the pain scale. So it's good news, and here's the, here's the game plan. Um, I'm not gonna run tomorrow. <coughs> I'm not gonna run Sunday. I'm gonna try and run Monday. If, if the knee, so I'm gonna, today's Friday when I'm filming this, if I wake up Saturday morning, <coughs> excuse me, let me get a drink here. If I wake up Saturday with no pain in my knee, we're good to go. The PT said I can jog, not run, jog very, very lightly on Monday. So it's been over two weeks now, just over two weeks with no running. Remember my annual running break is always two weeks long. Usually it's in December. This year it happened to be January uh, because of the uh, Olympic trials qualifier attempt. And now I've taken the two weeks, but now I'm going to take a little bit more time and see how the knee feels tomorrow morning. And then of course on Monday. And when I do go run, jog, it'll of course be on a soft surface, likely the soccer fields where I jogged coming back from the stress reaction about seven or eight months ago uh, after, uh, going into the Cleveland Marathon. All right, so that's the, that's the update. Good news, it's happening. I'm gonna be a little more patient, continue obviously with the PT work and butter my bread. Like I, I was prepared for six months of no running mentally after I called it because my, my knee was that painful. But I think because of the physical therapy, stopping running, uh, I'm going to give you a full rundown of everything that I've done to get rid of the runner's knee. And uh, listen, I'm not saying it's over yet, but uh, also I'll say one last point is it's honest, it's perfect timing for whether I run Hamburg, whether I run probably not London or Prague or whatever other marathon in late April, early May. The timing, we're lit it's literally like 13 to 14 weeks out from this point right now. And uh, I really am excited for that 12 week training block. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's open some packages, do a little work here in the studio, and uh, I'll get you the question of the day. I, I had it. What was it? I'll think of it again. It was, um, oh yeah, there we go. Question of the day. Who's racing this weekend? Where are you racing? What's the distance? And let us know. Uh, probably not a ton of races in the northern hemisphere, unless you're doing a winter, some sort of winter race, but everyone down in the southern hemisphere, let us know especially where you're racing. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. What is, what's going on here? Who's, okay, wasn't expecting this. Was not expecting this. Oh, okay, size 10, launch six. I don't think that is for me. Nope, running shoe giveaway. Running shoe giveaway. Oh, there's a note. Here we go. Hi, Seth. Shoes for your shoe giveaway. Oh, I enjoy your YouTube channel so much. Caleb. Caleb, thank you. That's amazing. Caleb, I'm just gonna brag about Caleb. Caleb is 16 years old and he's sending shoes in for the next running shoe giveaway. Caleb, kudos to you, that's amazing. And they're brand new. Oh, I cannot, oh, that's, that is awesome. Thank you, Caleb, so much. And let's see what these are. These are the Brooks 
Launch six as well, 10 and a half. All right, love it. And these are a blue colorway, brand new shoes. Caleb, you are helping somebody else get out the door and go run. All right, put those there. Okay, move that there. So here's our, here's our shed. Nothing to write home about, just a nice small shed there. Butter my bread, but look what's going in. So these are my crutches that I bought from the last injury. And it's just, I keep them as a reminder for my physical therapy, for all doing all the little things, not giving up uh, and remembering that there's, there is light at the end of the tunnel. It's very dark sometimes and injuries can be depressing. And I know some of you are struggling with that out there right now where you're like, I don't know if I'm ever gonna get healthy. You're, I know this because you communicate it to me either via email or in the comments below, but I'm just telling you like this runner's knee and I'm not saying I'm done with it yet, we don't know yet, it's not official, but the trend line is very, very, very good. As you saw with the, the jumping today, so there's no guarantee there's an opportunity to make the comeback, okay? Oh yeah, oh, so cool. All right, everyone, I'm gonna call it there. We're doing it, we're making the studio, not messing around in 2020. I'm all about, um, and I'm getting a lot of questions, maybe twice a month, I'll get an email from you out there, people that are starting their own running specific YouTube channels. And I guess like at the end of the day, what I what my one of my little um, passions and strategies, but passions is innovation. That's what I would encourage. If you're thinking about starting your own running YouTube channel, innovate, do something a little bit different than what everybody else is doing, okay? So that's what I'm trying to do here in the studio. I'm excited. Uh, I think next week I'll be able to actually put all this up on the walls because I'm waiting for the backdrop to show up, okay? There you have it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here as always. Good news about the knee. About the knee. We're, we're doing it. We're doing it, everybody. Okay. All right, and on this fine evening, I'm going to toss it back on the right and the left to just two completely random vlogs. I have no idea what I'm going to choose. I'll just go start scrolling through YouTube and see what I find right and the left. All right, everyone. There you have it. See, beauty. Work hard and love each other. We will see you tomorrow.